I think you should tell them what happened yesterday because they're gonna wonder why you didn't have a video yesterday. Why should I have to always tell them what happened? I shouldn't be explaining about your senior moments. Yeah, but you're a senior. Oh, that's true. Okay, well, uh, let's both tell them what happened yesterday. Okay, well anyway, yesterday we had a video for you. Yes, we had a video for you yesterday. But for some reason, with technical difficulties, the video lost the audio halfway through of the recording. So, uh, what we'll do, and I'll, we will prove it to you. We'll, prove it. we'll do some of yesterday's video. We'll populate some of today's episode with yesterday's video. And we have a special treat for you for today. We are going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip to Laguna because we have to pick up some pots. Uh, some pots for the back porch. Remember, we got all of those citrus trees uh, from Rosario and Padre Garcia, and uh, we have uh, th about three more that need to go inside some pots. So let's go ahead and get today started. Let's go on that road trip up to Laguna, pick out a few pots, maybe some more plants uh, for the front of the house, and uh, mm, let's get to work for today. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now, as you can see, I got my work cut out for me for today. All of these, these are shrub, decorative, ornamental uh, plants, and those are going in this area. Uh, the citrus, remember the citrus that we got in Tagaytay, uh, that's going in the backyard. This, uh, the ornamental uh, shrubs, they are going back over here today. Uh, we're gonna clean this area up a little bit. Uh, maybe move some of these plants around. We're gonna get this area looking a little bit more like Nessa's fine-tuned area over there where she has her Zen garden. So let's go ahead and take advantage of the morning shade. These great big grand mahoganies behind us are providing shade in this area right here. Let's take advantage of that and get today started doing some gardening in this area. I don't know if you noticed it, but the grass back here is doing absolutely great. The, the bluegrass uh, that we planted in the yard here. And it's a, it's a combination of doing some fertilizing. I, I did a broadcast of a lot of fertilizer about two weeks ago before the typhoon came through, uh, bringing in all that rain. Now, if you notice, there are some spots in the yard that, that you see dirt. And that's the topper that I talked about in some of the previous episodes. And what that's going to do, that's going to build up some of the low spots. If you have high foot travel area, uh, my gardener, he walks in the same spots all the time. All of those places, it compacts the grass down and it doesn't make it so nice and thick and carpet-like. Uh, so what I do is I take some of the soil, I take some rich soil, I add some of the carbonized rice hull to make it where it's uh, pretty much uh, a very good composition of soil. If I had good sand, not the sand that we're using for the build, for the concrete hollow box, but if we had some good clean sand, I would add a little bit of sand to that because grass, they love sand, uh, and it, it, it's great for drainage as well. And what that combination does is actually help build your grass and make it thick and lush. Uh, so we'll continue doing that in spots that we have low spots. You see back over here, also by the planter, uh, I'm building this here. We had a low spot here. Uh, I added some soil. I added when some of the, the grass side. When I pull out around the base of a plant, when I put a tree, a citrus tree, or any bush or shrub down in a 
a grass area, I take that piece of the side and I move it to a place that needs elevation or, or fixing. Now what we're going to do later on, uh, this whole area back here, you see where there's nothing but soil. We did a buildup back here. The, the gardeners, the landscaping crew that came in, they didn't build it up quite high enough. Plus my gardener didn't do any watering over last summer back here other than the, the, the rains that we had gotten. Uh, but we had a lot of shade. Uh, this tree has been trimmed back. We had a lot of shade back here, lack of watering, and it caused all the sod back here uh, to disappear, to basically uh, die. Uh, so we will repopulate this with little pieces of sod that we'll pull out from different parts of the yard, probably right around the fence line, and we'll repopulate that area. Now, remember, the, the task at hand today is to do the, the garden up in front. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. So now that we have all the plants removed from the back of the truck and we have it in a convenient area, very close to the area where we're going to plant in our plant bed right here, uh, we have a few things. It's kind of a three-step process. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to partially clear the canvas here. Some of the plants that I planted before, I'm going to go ahead and dig them up and I'm going to remove them. We'll probably transplant them to another location a little bit later on. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to remove them. Then step two is going to be we're going to try to do a, a drawing or a plan in our mind. And we're going to set those plants up. We're just going to set them up inside the bags in the location where we think that they'll look the best. Now the general rule of thumb when you're doing landscaping is to set up a, uh, your, it's a tier. It's a tier effect. And the tear effect is going to be where you're going to have the higher plants in the back or a higher plant in the center, a focal point. And then what you're going to do, you're going to have border plants that go around the base of it. You just need to select plants that won't overgrow the other one. And if it is type of plants that are going to grow, uh, you can, you can uh, avoid plants getting just unruly by doing trimming uh, with your clippers. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to pull up some of the plants back here and we're going to set we're going to do a setting down of some of the plants do a layout if it looks right and we're comfortable with that we'll go ahead and plant those inside the ground Okay, so as you can see, I pretty much achieved my objective except for one plant. And I have to make a command decision at this moment here. Well, really not. I don't have to do it at this moment. Uh, but I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to be proactive and not reactive later on. So remember, we planted this coconut seedling right here. And this coconut seedling was supposed to be more centered on this island here. And replace this huge mature coconut tree that keeps dropping these coconuts all over the place and doesn't allow me to park my vehicle. As a matter of fact, these, you see all these? These are the coconuts that fell from uh, this tree up above us. So we're gonna take this coconut tree out here at, at some point, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna replace it with a coconut tree. I think I'm gonna pull that seedling out now. And maybe what we'll do <clears throat> in that spot right there, later on, maybe we'll put a, a very nice palm but a palm that doesn't have any type of uh, fruit that will fall from it. Uh, so we're gonna reserve that spot for later on. So right now, I pretty much, like I said, I cleaned the canvas, except for the areas. These ornamentals here are gonna stay. And this yellow palm and this yellow palm over here, they're gonna stay as well because uh, they will be very attractive and they'll be nice outside border plants here uh, later on in the years. And they're very slow growing, so it's gonna take a while for them to get uh, it's very tall. Unlike the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian foxtail palms that are out there. Wait till we revisit that next year in 2020 and 2021. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they double, at least double the size uh, of their height over there in, uh, in one year. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this one coconut seedling out of the way. And then what we'll do, we'll start positioning our ornamental plants back inside the garden. After a few trials and tribulations moving some of the plants around, I think this is the layout that I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use this shrub right here. Uh, it's sort of trimmed out like a bonsai. 
and we'll continue to, to trim it just like this, just like we did over in the Zen Garden over on the other side. And we'll use this for a set center focal point right here. And these plants right here, uh, these are really good for a, a base border around a plant, especially a plant that like the plant that has a big trunk uh, that is as bare and then you have the bonsai type of clippings around the top uh, the bunches the balls on the top so we'll put this around the base on both sides and what we'll do is these plants they grow pretty fast but if you clip these off if you cut these pieces right here they'll stay low line and they'll actually sp they'll grow wider and instead of growing tall so that's what we'll do with these we'll trim these back down and make these a little bit bushy at the bottom uh, sort of like an accent at the base of the bonsai All right, well, here in Laguna, one of the first places is one of the biggest pottery shops that they have here uh, on the main street going into Calama Laguna area. So what we're getting now is they're going to be doing some painting of a pot. Well, they're doing the painting already. Instead of the terracotta uh, color, 
we want a darker color to contrast on the back of the lanai uh, against the, the handrails and the, the fencing. So they're going to paint this almost a black with some streaks in it. Now while they are doing that, it's time to pick, pick out some plants. We're going to take a look at some of the plants that they have here. Also, for decoration, you see these like we have over in the, in the uh, Zen Garden. We're going to pick out a couple of these also for the garden that we're setting up now as well. These plants are replacing some of the, the bigger plants that we have on the side of the retaining wall, that real small section on the front porch going up there. Because ones that we had there before, remember we pulled some of them out of there and we put inside the garden area. Well, you don't remember because I don't think you got to see yesterday's video yet. So uh, these are going to take, they're smaller and they won't encroach on the retaining wall on the side. Then I'm going to look in the back because we're going to look for some plants uh, to go in the front of the yard around where all those Hawaiian palms are in that half meter space uh, for the front fence. So I don't know how we're going to fit all of these items in the back of the truck. The truck is going to be really full going back. Uh, we got palms, we got uh, all type of bedding to go around the palms. Plus we have the pottery and this this uh, pot right here is going to be that center, that focal point inside that garden area that I worked on yesterday. Plus, we got, let me show you what else that we're going to use. And we're going to use it as a border around the palms that we're picking up on the other side of the nursery over here. So we are getting, I believe I have 60, 60 of these plants right back here. So basically, we're going to have that one center, you know, the Hawaiian palm on the outside of the fence. And then on the outside of the Hawaiian palms are the smaller palms, one on each side. That's two on each side of those. Then on each one of those center palms are going to be these plants. So it's like one, then two, and then four. It's going to double each time for all. So it's symmetrical. That goes all the way. It'll be the same all the way around the house. Okay, and now a little bit of rearranging because there's a lot of palms. You see all these. All these are going to be the border palms on the outside of the fence. So they have to go in next. But to get them to fit inside there, we got to rearrange some of the stuff that we got at the previous uh, garden shop just around the corner here. Uh, it's going to be a very full, a very full truck going back to Villa Feliz today. <laughs> Okay, now the truck is full. That was the easy part. The easy part is buying, loading. Uh, the hard part uh, is is putting it all inside the ground. So that'll be the next step, and that will probably start maybe some today, uh, but definitely a lot of it for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and head back to Villa Feliz. All right, well, here it is the end of the day. It is almost five o'clock. And why is Marianne outside the gate? Why are you not inside? You have to go back inside the gate in there. Well, anyway, it is the end of the day, like I said. I want you to see, we, we pretty much picked up the exact amount 
of, of plants that we need today for the fence. Uh, there were just a small amount of leftovers, maybe three of one item and a couple of another item, uh, but they will be fill in for the garden in the front yard. So I don't want you to see what we have here. Now, for an example, I just put a few of them inside the ground. Uh, these plants right here. So on both sides of the Hawaiian palm, these small flowering bushes right here. And they don't grow very big and they're easy to prune. They have a really pretty uh, reddish, orangish kind of a flower that grow on those. And then I have the small palms right here. These can also be potted inside the house or on the balcony. And I saved a few of them for the balcony as well. So these are in the ground. Again, these will spread a little bit. And if we want to, we can add some more stuff there later. But at least we have some green green up against our fence now. Now as you see the rest of them are still inside the containers and that's what we'll be working on tomorrow. Lucky for me uh, that I work with my gardener and all the soil is very pliable. It has the carbonized rice hull mixed with the good soil inside there and it's very easy. It took me maybe uh, 10 minutes uh, to do that section. So if you add them all up around, maybe about three hours worth of work tomorrow, maybe four hours, I don't know, uh, depending on uh, if I hit a mahogany stump, mahogany roots or not. Uh, but these will be very easy getting the rest of these in. And on the back porch also, hold on, let me go on to the back porch and I'll show you the, the pots that we picked up yesterday. Okay, well, back here on the back porch, these are the three pots. One, two, three right here. And they aren't exactly as dark as this one, but I like the color. I like actually the complement of the different colors back here. It's not a big deal that they're a little bit different. So anyway, we're going to put a lime. This is a lime tree. And this is a, mm, what is this one? I can't remember what this one is. Oh, this is the lime tree. This is the lime, and this is calamansi. We're going to put this in, and... We also have this, which is the <laughs> pomegranate. I, I forgot what this was, but yeah, this is pomegranate. This is a pomegranate um, a flower blooming right now. So we're going to put those three inside these three pots here. So that's a project for tomorrow as well. So now what I want to do is I want to walk to the front of the house real quick. And I want to show you what the garden is evolving into. Uh, it was still, still more work, still a few more plants that have to be put in, a little bit more arrangement. But remember, that is Nessa Zen Garden. Remember Nessa Zen Garden over here on this side. And it's beautiful, but it also came with a beautiful price tag because we hired out a professional landscaping company to do this area. And they did all the planting, they built the bridge, put the stonework down. They did a magnificent job over here. Uh, but at a fraction, at about a tenth of the cost, let me show you what I've got now. It's not done, like I said. A few more boulders, a few more accent pieces, a few more pieces of, uh, of um, plants, and then this will be done. But this is what we have right now. Uh, well, this is what we picked up in, uh, in Laguna today. Uh, and these are the plants that we have inside here. And remember, this plant right over here, it is going inside this pot right here and it will be backed up just a little bit and it will be a central, the central point for the eye to focus on is that plant right there. And it will have some beautiful, it's already got a couple of uh, reddish, orangish flowers that are getting ready to bloom on it as well. So this will be cleaned up. These are the extras, all these extra plants will go on the side over here. I removed some of the plants from this area in the retaining wall, the ones that were too wide. Uh, they're going to be replaced by these smaller plants right here. Uh, these are going to be trimmed back. And this is all going to be painted. Remember, my builder left. He bailed before he finished doing any of the painting. So this will be painted. Uh, this will be painted. And I'll do all that myself. I'll do some grinding here so that these kind of match up a little bit together. Uh, but I don't mind. I don't mind taking care of that uh, because it needs to be done. Anyway, now Ness and I have to run. We have a, what is it? It is a planning committee for the... A, a reunion. For a reunion. Remember last year, we did the Mabini Academy reunion. Uh, uh, and I think that was at Leaper Grill. That was one at Leaper Grill, or was that the Christmas? No, that was the reunion, right? Yeah, yeah. That was the reunion, right? <laughs>
<laughs> so she, Ness is also going to be part of the planning committee and we're getting ready to go over there right now to do that. Uh, but before we go, before we go, before we close out today's episode, and I hope we have audio today. I really hope this is working. I won't know until tonight when I get back and I do editing. Cross my fingers, right? So anyway, uh, we have uh, some birthday shout outs and I'm going to let Ness do the birthday shout outs for today. I did them yesterday. I'm not going to do them two times in a row. Ness yeah. will do it. All right, you ready? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and this is a belated birthday shout out. Two days ago, January 3rd, Nemi and Emmy Elisegi's mother, Genoveva, Lola Evang from Barangay Banlik, Calamba City. She is celebrating her 91st birthday yeah. for January 4th. The next day, it's Benny's birthday from Florida. And our last birthday shout, Ness is going to give me this one since she can pronounce all of the Philippine names, uh, all the Tagalog <laughs> town names, stuff like that. This one is actually from the Netherlands and it is for tomorrow. It is for January 6th. And it is Karen Donkervoort's husband, Walter Donkervoort. Uh, the couple live in the Blue Mountains near Sydney, Australia. And Wouter is from the Netherlands, uh, hence the name Donkervoort. Anyway, Karen says she met him when uh, she she was living back in Amsterdam and then she took him back to Australia uh, where he loves it. Anyway, for the three, the three birthday recipients uh, for the last couple of days and for tomorrow, we want to wish you all a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Okay, well, we are running late for our planning committee <laughs> meeting over for the school. So we're going to leave right now and, and close for today. And I hope, I hope again, that I don't have any problems with the audio. If not, it means it's going to be another day before we get a uh, video out. And then we got to troubleshoot to find out what's the problem with the audio. And I think the problem with the audio is I, I, I keep slipping. The, the cable does not go all the way inside. Technical difficulties. So anyway, for uh, today, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, uh, you want to? You, you, are you are you going to close out today's video? <laughs> no, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and if you have not subscribed, just uh, click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. Oh, <laughs> you, wants, you wanted to wants you wanted to, to point to it, huh? Yeah, he wants uh, to. Yes, point to that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed, <laughs> and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day.